Hello, my name is Jay Gottlieb. I am a board certified dermatologist here at Miramar Dermatology Skin and Cancer Associates. Let's talk about alopecia areata. Alopecia areata causes hair loss in small round patches that may go away on their own or may last for many years. Nearly 2% of all of the American population will develop alopecia areata during their life. Some people with alopecia areata may lose scalp hair or all of their scalp hair, body hair. The immune system for some unknown reason attacks the hair root and causes hair loss. Alopecia areata usually begins with one or more small round coin sized bare patches. It's most common on the scalp but can involve any hair bearing site including eyebrows, eyelashes, and the beard. Alopecia areata is not contagious. It's an autoimmune disease in which the body's immune system attacks itself. The hair follicles are what are being attacked. The cause is unknown. A person's particular genetic makeup combined with other factors seems to trigger alopecia areata. Although we may know by examining your scalp that you have alopecia areata, a scalp biopsy is sometimes helpful in confirming the diagnosis. Alopeciata is not a symptom of a serious disease and usually occurs in otherwise healthy individuals. It is likely that the hair will regrow, but it may fall out again. The course of the disease varies from patient to patient and no one can predict when their hair might regrow or, for that case, fall out again. This unpredictable alopecia areata makes for a very frustrating condition for both the patient and the physician involved. There is no cure for alopecia areata. While treatments may promote hair growth, new patches of hair loss may continue to appear. The treatments are not a cure. Only the body itself can eventually turn off this condition. Corticosteroids or cortisone are anti-inflammatory medications that suppress the immune system. They could be given as injections into the actual hair loss area or sometimes taken as pills or rubbed into the effective area. Topical medication seems to be the least effective. Steroid injections are repeated every four to six weeks into the hairless patch of the scalp, eyebrows, or beard area. Hair growth usually begins approximately four weeks after the injections. Steroids that are rubbed directly into the area are less effective as I mentioned. Corticosteroids taken by mouth have potential side effects and many times are avoided. They are not used routinely, but in certain cir circumstances have their place. Irritation is not needed in order to stimulate the regrowth of hair in alopecia areata. Combinations of treatment may add to the effectiveness. Hopefully, new hair will grow in 8 to 12 weeks. The emotional aspect of living with hair loss can be challenging especially in a society that regards hair as a sign of youth and good health. It's reassuring that alopecia areata does not affect general health and should not interfere with your daily activities or to achieve your life goals in school, sports, your career, or raising your family. If you have alopecia areata, please make an appointment and come and see one of us professionals at Miramar Dermatology.